So, in order to talk about this video, I'm gonna need to do some Avengers Endgame spoilers. Not a lot, but one that kinda needs to happen. That one that, um, that I need to talk about real quick. So, if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame yet, uh, I'll give you guys a couple seconds to bow out of here, because, like I said, if this is, if I'm gonna talk about this in full, I need to go over some spoilers in Avengers Endgame. So, I'll give you guys a couple seconds to leave. Okay, I'm guessing if you're still here, you either saw the movie or you don't care about spoilers. Either way, this is just a theory video. I'm not saying anything's been confirmed. This is just a theory video I have. And yeah, just be like a fun topic to talk about um, here on the channel. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the possibility, could we see Beta Ray Bill in the Marvel Cinematic Universe soon? And could he be coming in Guardians of the Galaxy 3? Now, the reason I bring this up is because I feel like there's so many, like, levels, there's so many, like, hints pointing to it. Obviously, what the two biggest being is that in Infinity War, we had the inclusion of Stormbreaker, which is Stormbreaker is the weapon that Beta Ray Bill has. But before I go any further and talk about, you know, Stormbreaker and Beta Ray Bill, you're probably asking, who the hell's Beta Ray Bill? Quick qu crash lesson if you don't know your uh, Marvel lore that all, all that well outside of the movies. Beta Ray Bill is an alien known as a Corbinite, and he, on his ship, the Scuttlebutt, he was helping the last of his people, the Corbinites, uh, escape the destruction of their home world. And along the way, he came across Thor, as well as the Fire Dem as long as Fire Demons. He actually bested Thor in a fight and actually claimed Mjolnir, thus proving his worthiness. Eventually, Thor and Beta Ray Bill quickly became allies to the point where they look at each other as brothers. And Beta Ray Bill actually got his own weapon, Stormbreaker, that was forged from the same Uru metal as Mjolnir. So that is a quick lesson on Beta Ray Bill. He's a powerful alien, now endowed by the very power of Odin. So could it be possible we could be getting Beta Ray Bill in the MCU? Now, I also say that, yes, I think he's already in the MCU. It's already kind of hinted that he's already in somewhere out there in the MCU. That being, we saw a glimpse of him in Thor Ragnarok. If you guys remember, all those statues, or excuse me, the head busts of all those characters, one of those champions past was Beta Ray Bill. It could be that he fought his way to freedom, uh, escaped the Grandmaster, and, uh, and managed to, you know, get away from Sakaar and out into the universe. But you may be wondering, well, what about his people, the Corbinites? You could have it in one or two ways. He either found his ship, or the Grandmaster, uh, when uh, something happened and the last of his people were killed by either the Fire Demons or they were sold into slavery by the Grandmaster, or something else happened, but still, you know, something let, you could obviously reference, you know, he was a gladiator on Sakaar, managed to fight his way to freedom and get away. But something's kind of, you know, happened to him and now it's him to rise again. Or you could just have it that, oh, he just found his people, the remnants of his people, and now he's just trying to find a new homeworld for them. Now, the other thing with Beta Ray Bill is that um, you could do is easily, and this is the big thing that we have to talk about with uh, uh, Avengers Endgame, is that Thor is no longer on Earth. He's actually traveling with the rest of the, with the remaining Guardians of the Galaxy, and in order to do that, yeah, Thor did some cosmic stuff, especially in the Walt Simonson run. So, yeah, there's a good chance that they could run into Beta Ray Bill, and he could be an assisting character. In fact, currently, right now, Beta Ray Bill is actually a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy alongside Groot and uh, Star-Lord. The two of them have actually formed a new Guardians of the Galaxy team alongside several other characters. So, Beta Ray Bill is a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. He's a, you know, a fan favorite Thor character. So, the other interesting thing that kind of points to maybe we will be getting um, Beta Ray Bill uh, soon is that, remember, Chris Helmsworth has about only one more uh, film left in his contract. He has, I think, yeah, one, maybe two more films left in his contract before he can, you know, he can leave the MCU. So, it could be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is where we see the end of Thor and the rise of Beta Ray Bill on, um, in the MCU. 
And you may be thinking, why would why would the MCU go from Chris Hemsworth to hor to a guy with a horse head? Well, the thing is, is that I think we've gone, you know, far enough in the MC, you know, in the MCU where the old guard is slowly going away, as evident as with uh, three characters from the, you know, from the leaving the MCU now. Although one of them is going to come back for one more movie, uh, in a capa in a certain capacity. So, yeah. So that's the thing is that. Um, the old guard is changing, and they did say, and Kevin Feige said they were going to go more cosmic very soon. They were obviously going to go a lot more cosmic in the near future. So it would be kind of cool, because I feel like Thor's story is coming to a close. Like, he's now, you know, learning, more, you know, he's now uh, gotten his hammer back, he's gotten a new hammer, he's learned more about himself, he's, he, you know, he's relying more on himself, and he's kind of left the throne to someone he feels like who is more capable than he'll ever be. So I feel like Thor's story is coming to a close. Now, whether we see that in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, because there is rumor of Adam Warlock showing up, um, which looks very heavily, because it was heavily teased in Volume 2, so we could be getting Adam Warlock... Um, but Beta Ray Bill, and remember, Adam and Beta Ray are, were both Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, although, I will, I will admit that it's kind of sad that we never got to see, you know, Adam Warlock and Thanos face off. Because, yeah, if you guys read the comics, Adam and Thanos really have a complex relationship. So it would have been neat to see that, but I'm fine. Avengers Endgame, by the way, was awesome. You know, Avengers Endgame lived up to everything, but now it just feels like. And again, take all of this uh, this uh, theory video with a grain of salt, because none of this could be. You know, none of this could actually happen. I'm just kind of throwing out this you know theory vid post uh, post Endgame, and it feels like everything's kind of pointing towards Beta Ray Bill making his official appearance in here, because yeah. Technically speaking, he's out there in the MCU right now. We just know where that we don't know where the hell he is. Is he dead? Is he alive? I'm hoping for alive. Um, and yeah, we could get more Guardians of the Galaxy stuff with him. And then when he comes back to Earth, he's it could be a neat little culture shock and be like, he's where's Thor? He's dressed as Thor, but he's got the oh no. And yeah, it'd be a cool little like Avengers moment where. Um, if we get another Avengers movie, it'll be the new, like, maybe it'll be a new Avengers movie, and Beta Ray makes his way to Earth, um, via, you know, v you know, via he just travels back there, and it's like a new reformation of the Avengers. So who knows? But again, like I said, guys, you really have to take this all with a grain of salt. This is all just a theory video. Uh, that I thought would be fun, and it was just kind of gnawing at the back of my mind. Because Beta Ray Bill's one of my favorite Marvel characters, and it's always fun to see him show up, and I've been kind of waiting to see if they'll do him in the, uh, MC in the MCU. I mean, we already have a talking raccoon and a tree man as, um, mainstay characters. So, yeah. You may be thinking, well, this, they'll never do the CGI for it, and I'm like, have you not noticed Rocket, or, you know, Korg, or Meek, or... Groot, have you not noticed those characters and how, like, they have, uh, how they're able to stay around? Like, they have, like, they can stay around as characters and, and their fan favorites now? So I think that you can do this, of having a full CGI character be a mainstay on a cast, um, in this, sh you know, in this universe at this point. And I think, yeah, um, if anyone's gonna wield the hammer after, after Thor, if Thor's gone, then, you know, look no further than old Horsehead. So you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, what do you guys think of the idea of Beta Ray Bill uh, joining, officially joining the MCU and taking on Thor's place when Chris Helmsworth's uh, contract runs out? Uh, are you guys excited? Would you guys like the idea? Would you guys not like the idea? How would you bring in Beta Ray Bill into the MCU? Just comment below, let us know, and if you're new here, remember to like, share, and subscribe to this video and be a part of the uh, universe. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.